welcome to the neat aspirants 2020 hope you all are doing good and the time has been come and now let us have a quick uh, uh, things to recall how to revise in the last minute okay how what are the scoring chapters and how to attempt the examination and now the first thing is the revision in the last minutes how to revise the first thing is don't confine too many books please be precise for a single book and the most suggested book is NCRT out of 90 questions in the exam 70 are asked from the NCRT book and go through all the tables diagrams which are being highlighted all the highlighted points in the book and you have a keen observation on all the tables as well as diagrams and always make a short notes of all the examples in the book if you are facing confusion at any point that may be due to lack of proper revision of the concepts so when you have a short note that helps you to revise many times and in the last arts don't try to include the new topic because this brings lots of confusion as well as it will be very stressful in the last minute so try always to avoid the new concepts and multiple times revision is most important and the flow of this lines in NCRT should be followed one after the other even when you wake up in the morning there should be flow of lines one after the other and that's sincere you should work out with NCRT and next is the scoring chapters and now the most important one is genetics in the entire biology approximately you get 15 to 18 questions and coming to the geology part most of the questions will be asked from the pedigree DNA fingerprinting as well as the genetic disorders ecology is also very important and mostly you also get approximately 10 to 12 questions okay the uh, questions are mostly asked from the food chains in situ exit conservation pollution sewage treatment biological and chemical oxygen demand most important and the next coming to the physiology both plant and animal physiology are important coming particularly to animal physiology approximately 12 to 15 questions are asked and now in physiology we have the different concepts of digestion respiration circulation and nervous system and now coming to the digestion physiology of digestion and calorifica value are the major areas of asking question and in the circulatory system most importance is given to the cardiac cycle in the respiratory system diffusion of gases respiratory volumes regulation of breathing and in the nervous system physiology of neuron and 100 percent of question is from conduction of impulse and the other thing is different parts of brain and their functions and the sensory organs are very important and now coming to the skeletal system joints the types of joints in endocrine system the diseases which are being caused due to the fluctuation of hormones elevated and decreased secretion of hormones and the next is mechanism of hormones and after that coming to the animal diversity one and two here you have to go through all the examples the common names and scientific names the phyla comparison with similarities special characters and basis of classification are very important and the next important chapter is reproduction majorly the questions are asked from menstrual cycle as well as contraceptive methods either it may be the oral pills or the surgical methods okay and next is human health and diseases here a here, lot of scope is for allergic reactions drugs hiv okay cancer and protozoan diseases are mostly asked and the very important chapter is evolution compulsory 100 percent sure homologous and analogous organs and human evolution question and fossils which are being mentioned are very important and all the tables and diagrams which are given in evolution also important now after reading how to attend the examination this is very important after reaching the exam always be relaxed and stay calm 
no tension or no or like no hurry always read the questions and options thoroughly and after understanding the question and option you just label the correct answer speed and accuracy are both important this can be increased by attempting lots of mock test and this accuracy helps you from trapping of negative marking and this will be increased when the concepts are clear and no confusion enhances your speed and accuracy and the other important thing is art of leaving the difficult question always answer the easy questions first if there is any difficult question you just move on and later come back again and try to understand the question and answer it don't stuck with the single question and never lose your confidence okay and all but never be over confident manage the time and reach a call the questions and answers once again and finally good luck for all the neat aspirants may all your dreams come true and thanking you this is pravalika signing off